Hey there, it is Matt White with Golf Car TV. I'm also with Converted Carts and happy to have uh, you here today. Golf Car TV is all about sharing fun, interesting, exciting, different, unique, whatever you want to call it, uh, golf carts. And today uh, we've got a special guest. We got uh, Mike from Glenn's Golf Car Central out in Painesville, Ohio. And uh, so welcome, Mike. Thanks for being here today, buddy. Thanks for having me, Matt. Appreciate it. Um, so tell us a little bit, just, I just mentioned the, the name and stuff like that, but tell us who you are and, and, uh, where you're at, how long you've been in business, just a little bit about the, about the company, and then we'll take a look at a pretty cool cart. Yep. Uh, my name's Mike Ravancic. I'm the owner of Glenn's Golf Car Central. Uh, as Matt said, uh, we're over in Painesville Township. Uh, we do, uh, sales, service, parts, rentals, customizing, uh, personalizing of golf cars. Um, we also uh, do uh, custom one-off builds for customers. Uh, so they might uh, want a cart to be a certain color, a certain type of seats, so on and so forth, um, and would make their dreams come to reality. Yeah. Um, we've owned the business for eight years now. Glenn's has been in business uh, for about 20 years. Um, so got a pretty good name uh, for um, golf cars, uh, everything to do with golf cars. Awesome. Um, we got a bunch of friends that uh, work with me uh, to help get all these carts built um, and very lucky to have the team that we do and the talent that we do. Awesome. All right, Mike. So tell us about this uh, one of a kind cart that you got here. I'm excited to see it and show our audience uh, this pretty cool thing you got. So what do you got for us? Yep, this is a uh, Cadillac golf cart made by a conversion company in the 90s called Elmco. They made two and four passenger versions of these carts in Cadillac uh, form or Rolls Royce. They made two and four passenger ones. This supposedly is the only six passenger one uh, ever built special order. Um, we got it about a year ago. And we've been tinkering with it a little bit, doing some custom work to it. Not done, still a work in progress, but actually uses a real Cadillac Fleetwood grill and uh, hood ornament tail lights um, are all real uh, Cadillac parts. We started off with 14 inch Furies and we had to cut the body, uh, make them fit. We also did uh, one off Jake's disc brake. Uh, installation on this because they didn't make one for this cart. It's based off a club car DS platform. We also put a chrome I did it tilt steering column in it. It's got a functioning horn. Put a real car mirror in it that's got dome lights in it. Has a DOT approved tempered glass windshield that we actually had made for this vehicle. We chopped the top three inches on it also. It was kind of disproportionate when we got it. I'll show you something pretty cool too. It's got functioning uh, hood slash that trunk area. So cool. You had a frunk before a frunk was a, was a thing. <laughs> yeah. Well, another cool thing is too, is that these cars did not come uh, with a trunk lid because usually the golf bags would go back there. So my buddy that owns a stereo shop local here, Stereo Installs, he made a one-off trunk lid for it out of fiberglass. Uh, it is yet to be painted. It's just primered right now uh, because uh, we're going to change the body color. But he made this from scratch, one-off. That's awesome. And then we have our real trunk there. Um, and we'll put all the emblems on it to match the mid-90s Cadillac Fleetwoods that this mimics. And then... Uh, up here, we also have an in-dash TV that folds out. It has a built-in cooler, which is factory to the golf cart from the conversion company. Wow. That is so cool. room and seating. This cart is actually uh, four inches wider than a regular golf car. So you could fit technically three adults uh, with wise on these seats. It's a pretty big car. It's based off of an eight, cha uh, eight passenger chassis. So usually when it's a regular golf car, it would have another seat on the back. It's got the wood grain steering wheel in it. It has AC drive uh, drivetrain in it, the Silverwolf uh, Tecon. 
Uh, and then it is powered by the uh, rely on lithium batteries. Um, so this cart does about uh, 37 miles an hour. Brakes wow. are definitely needed when you're hauling the whole family in there and stuff. Full street yeah. legal. Okay, yeah, that's what I was going to ask. So street legal. Um, I think you've got a stereo system in there as well. Yeah, it's small right now. Uh, just something to, to have in there for last summer and this summer. And then this coming up winter, we'll do the full rebuild on it. Uh, probably be white with blood red interior. Um, and then we'll do a nice stereo because underneath the first two rows of seats is uh, storage. Okay. So you got plenty of plenty of room uh, to put subwoofer and everything like that. And are you planning on um, using this as a as a cart for yourself, uh, you know, for the company, or do you plan on selling it at some point, or what's the plan? Yeah, we bought this uh, because of uh, multiple reasons, actually. Uh, so I'm a car guy, and my family is a Cadillac family. We like Cadillacs, custom Cadillacs and stuff. So coincidentally, it worked out really well that uh, I own a golf car shop, and we found a Cadillac golf cart. I also have one-and-a-half-year-old twin boys and a uh, four-and-a-half-year-old son, uh, so it fits our whole family. Um, and we use this for promotional uh, reasons for the shop. Uh, but we also use it around the neighborhood because it is street legal uh, and uh, allowed to be on the roads. Um, so it's good for everything. It's good for the family and transportation, but also good for the business. Cool. Thank you so much, Mike. That was really cool. So um, tell us a little bit uh, about where people can find you if they want to, whether they're local or not, just interested in that cart or something else. I know you got a lot of stuff going on there, but uh, tell us a little bit about how, can, how people can find you. Yeah, we're right in Painesville Township on a main drag called Menor Avenue, 1721. Uh, we're in an old uh, car dealership. Got a turntable out front with a golf car on there, so you won't be able to miss us. Um, so stop in anytime, uh, Monday through Friday, 10 till 6. Uh, we have a ton of parts in stock uh, and accessories for Club Car and EasyGo. Also have approximately 100 golf cars in stock. We're also a dealer for the new Mad Jacks X series, which will be arriving in a week or two. Uh, so we're excited for that also. Uh, need parts over the counter. Uh, if you need service work, rentals, whatever it may be, uh, feel free to give us a call. We'll definitely be able to help you out. Uh, or if you want one-off custom-built golf cart, we love doing that also. Awesome. Well, thank you so much, Mike, for joining us today. Really appreciate it. Uh, I think there's going to be a lot of comments on this one. This is a, a pretty unique, uh, unique cart that we've been able to show today. So thanks again for your, for your time. Really appreciate it. No, thanks for the opportunity, Matt. I appreciate it. All right. Thanks, man. Have a good one.